trying to take them away? Uh, there seems to be a little bit of that mm -hmm. uh, every now and then, but I mean, just sometimes that's how the shakes out, how the cookie crumbles, that the guy that the intended target of a route isn't open, and uh, we trust Jake Rudock to get the ball to the guy who is open. Jay, what was your reaction when you found out about Jerry Kill's resignation this morning? Um, sad. I mean, I, I figured it was something uh, uh, that had to have been pretty serious, and so uh, you never want to hear anything like that, and you know he has the background of the uh, certain health issues, so you just hope and pray that he, he gets healthy and that his uh, family deals with everything all right, because it's a, it's a serious thing. And as a young coach, you know, how, how do you have to learn to manage you know, balancing the stresses of coaching with your health? Uh, I don't know. I probably don't do a good job. <laughs> uh, I had a donut today, so that's good. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I mean, I think a lot of it has to do with your work environment. Um, <coughs> a lot of it, bless you. Uh, the guys we work with are really, they're serious about football, but they're lighthearted guys, so it's, uh, it's fun, it's loose, and serious at the same time, if that makes any sense. I'm not a doctor, but I would imagine that that is helpful over the long term of uh, not developing like hypertension or something. I don't know. Yeah. Have your stop eating donuts. Too. <laughs> How have your dad yeah. and uncle managed to handle it? How have you seen them do it? Uh, I don't know. Not 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 in any way that's special or unique. I don't think. I mean, uh, they both find ways uh, and time to spend with their family and and exercise and stuff. So they have fun doing what they're doing. I, I don't know. It's a good question. Certainly, it's something to be aware of. Do you have a goal for the tight end group in terms of something you'd like to see them take a step up even more the last stretch of the season? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, blocking uh, all around, just um, winning, winning each play and being being like a like a, like a PGA golfer, where like their worst the worst shots for them are like on the fringe of a fairway. They're not ideal, but you can you can keep playing. You know, you can. You can still win with that shot. I think kind of taking that approach of, of where our, our worst plays are still plays that we can win with as an offense and, and we're not uh, holding up drives, you know, where that's that's the very worst of it. And, and the majority of them are excellent plays. So I think just building that consistency and dominating each play, dominating the guy across from us uh, is really the direction that we're trying to go towards. Have you been briefed on the history of the Little Brown Jug? Uh, fairly well, yeah. yeah. There's some interesting, interesting stories and all that. It's it's fun to be a part of that. Who briefed you? Uh, T.J. Weiss told gave me some. Uh, my dad told me some. I was just hearing it from people around the program. What's what's you special about Minnesota's defense that you've seen? What will give you the toughest challenge, I guess? Uh, they're really well coached. They have good players, good personnel. Defensive line is is good. The secondary is very good. Uh, their corners are, are excellent football players. They kind of have to be due to the scheme, uh, similar to Michigan State. So um, they have the right guys for the scheme, and they play really hard. So they're not—they're not a team that's going to beat themselves. Uh, certainly, um, it's a trademark I think of them year in and year out. Although I'm not as familiar with them as you guys are. Do you expect anything different from them with Coach Kill not coaching on Saturday? Uh, no. I, I think that's probably. A, very indicative of who he is, maybe a, a, the best credit to him is that they would play like their hair's on fire regardless, you know? I, I think that says a lot about who he is and how he coaches that you're, you're not gonna show up and see a different team, you know? That's that's how, I think that's how he would want it to and, and that's how those guys play. I think we saw Wheatley Jr. out in the warm-ups probably for the first time before Northwestern. What have you seen from him over the last few weeks now that you're actually getting to work with him? <coughs> Uh, improvement, and, and that's really all I'm, all I'm looking for. But getting better at everything, getting a, a better grasp of the offense and football in general, and, and uh, understanding more than just on, on a play what his specific little job is, is understanding what's going on around him and being able to adapt and adjust better. So um, he needs to get better at everything, and, and that's that's what he's doing. He's doing a nice job. Jay, what's the point that you saw this year that AJ Williams could be a different player than he's been here before? Uh, Immediately in the spring, with the spring of all? I think I, I, you certainly see potential uh, right away, and I think that he got better and better as it went on, and then at some point during the season, um, it just 
just kind of clicked for him, and he, and he, he started operating at a, at a mentally operating at a faster a faster tempo. Is there a trust thing for you to call and say, you know, he's going to involve more pass plays and receptions? Or did that, I mean, was there a point when you saw something and say, you know, you trust throwing the ball to him more often? Um, yeah, uh, maybe. I think from the get go, though, uh, he has good hands. But that was really never a question. Um, his ability as a route runner has improved quite a bit. So him getting better in that phase uh, makes you have more confidence that he'll get open and get separation. So, um, but I, I don't think it's my confidence has ever been that low in that regard. He's just been getting more opportunities and, and making the most of them. Was it as simple as Jim saying, please run faster? Uh, is that what he said? <laughs> uh, that's a big part of it, yeah. I said the same thing to him, and he took it to heart, and he's done things that he needed to do to, to, um, to be more of a, a threat in the pass game. And um, just, I think, uh, I think having a good understanding of what we're trying to accomplish, and, and kind of getting rid of the mental clutter, just thinking faster and reacting, because uh, so much of speed, like true speed and play speed, are two totally different things of how fast the guy is in a race, and then how he plays when it's eleven on eleven. So. Uh, I think that, that he's, he's actually surprisingly fast. If you just had a foot race of people, um, I think you'd all be really shocked at how fast he is and how he's starting to play at that speed. Uh, so it's, it's, it's fascinating to look at. I think uh, if he can, can, keeps on continuing, there's more opportunities for him. So did he become a faster route runner because he started understanding more what he was trying? I mean, is that from film watching? <clears throat> I think it's a little bit of everything. I think it's just having confidence in the timing of routes and knowing that you'll be able to get your depth. Uh, and, and trust that you don't need to rush or alter the route because you think that you're not going to get there in time. That's what a lot of uh, happens to a lot of guys. Uh, and maybe it's understanding of the game or the playbook. Uh, it's, I say it's fascinating because you're not not really sure what it is exactly. You just hope that it clicks like that with everybody in terms of just playing the game at, at, at their very, very top speed they're capable of. Obviously, the last game was a, a big disappointment. Do you have a read on how uh, your guys in general are approaching it coming out of there? They've all talked about how you know they've had good practices and uh, just your sense of them. Uh, really positive. I mean, certainly there's a, a level of uh, uh, disappointment and understanding that we need to do things to get better, but they've been really positive, and, and uh, um, which is the same as it is every week. It was the same week before that and the three weeks before that I think that we had won. Um, it's just always about getting better so I think that's a, a cool thing about our approach and uh, the guys have bought into that that regardless of what the outcome of the game is the next week will trans transpire the exact same way regardless you know it's like Saturday is an isolated event.